it's been a while. Let's do a Monday Mix Plate. Okay, I love Monday Mix Plates because they allow me to just talk about a bunch of things and riff. And that's what I want to do today. I had such a great response and dialogue going with you guys about last week's video. It was so much fun to reconnect and you guys left such great suggestions and comments and you inspired my skincare routine this week and you inspired me to purchase a bunch of things on Monday afternoon and um, you gave me a bunch of food for thought and so I just thought I was gonna riff on it all and I thought the things I ordered on Monday afternoon would be here but alas they are not. What's up? Shipping delays are here, I think. I mentioned last week that I was having trouble or feeling uninspired to use this product, and somebody commented mentioning the brand Infiori and how they always recommended using this type of water-based serum or more of an emulsion on top of an oil. And so I decided to try that this week. I tried the Hibiscus booster, Beauty Booster on top of an oil and oh my goodness, it is magical. So I tried it Monday night and then I've done it twice a day ever since then. And I am loving the results and I am loving this product now. I mean, you totally inspired me. Um, so I, what I wanna do is I wanna link um, the interview that Infiori's founder did with Mercedes on her podcast from La Amour at La Musique. Um, I'm gonna link that below if you wanna listen to it. Um, Whoever commented that kind of like really inspired me, like really, you know, kind of turned on the light bulb in my mind about that part of the interview. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. And so it's turned out to be quite amazing. I just want to point out again, I mentioned it last week, but first of all, isn't that color just insane from the astaxanthin? Um, it has such a bouncy texture. And I was like con fully convinced that it may um, pill on top of an oil, but it does not at all. I think I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that's because most of the texture is coming from the hyaluronic acid and it's not coming from gums, which is why it performs so nicely. And I would go out on a limb to say that this is a large molecular hyaluronic acid. I'm just guessing here, okay? So don't quote me on this. But hyaluronic acid comes in various weights. You know, if you're into skincare, you already know that. You know, people really use it as a selling point. But in its inception, hyaluronic acid tended to be used in skincare in a large molecular form to hold water to the skin. And it's funny because I've kind of gotten out of using hyaluronic acid, but this product is kind of like bringing it back to me that the more vintage style is to use this larger weight that has this more like goopy sort of um, bouncy watery ceramy texture. And so I'm loving playing around with that. So whoever commented that, um, you're a genius. Thank you. You've revived. And it's so funny because like that one little thing, that one little new discovery, because I really wanted to use and love this product. And I felt like I was letting Kapua down because I wasn't like using it in my routine or like inspired about it. So that one little thing like perked up my like mindset about skincare again, like got the wheels all turning. So thank you. I'm having a great time with this product. It's, it's really interesting. So I've been doing this AM sort of situation where I've picked up the Earthwise Green Leaves Face Balm. Um, it has coconut oil in it, but my skin loves coconut oil. And then it has rosemary and thyme in it. And I was finding I was getting a lot of acne. I have to wear an N95 at work. And sometimes I am just sweating balls for hours. And so um, I was finding I was getting a lot of acne here. And so I started using this on my face again because the um, green leaves, you know, the thyme and the rosemary tend to be very antibacterial and balancing for the flora. And it's just going so well. I'm, I'm just loving it. And I'm doing it in the morning with the ice roller um, to kind of just help push the oil in and, and get it to absorb. And the smell is so revitalizing in the morning that I'm just 
I'm just loving it. I'm back to being inspired about my skincare again. Okay. So the Violet's Eye Illuminate Gel Cream. This has gone by the wayside. It's not really working too well as a water-based serum, like a hydrating serum, um, because this is, is working so well. Um, and this combo is working so well. So this has gone back to like not really getting used again. So that may be headed for the bye-bye pile at some point. Um, then at night, I've been doing gua sha every night, even just a little bit. And I, I, I went away from this very aggressive gua sha I used to do. And I just started right now just trying to increase circulation. Um, if you're wondering, this is the Lan Shin Jade kind of beginner stone. I really love this stone. It just so wonderful for the face. It just really helps move um, the tissues and it feels really um, well thought out in um, the way that it, you know, kind of interacts with skin. And I don't know, I swear, I swear with gua sha that I see a noticeable difference right away. And I think it's because I carry a lot of tension right here. And so at night, I'm just slowly, like this is one in particular for me, right here with the 11s, and I carry it right up. You know, I, I just feel like I've already seen a softening in the muscles right here. And that's wonderful when you feel like this is one of the spots that always stares back at you, like, you're getting older. Um, okay, now, I had bought this a while ago and I had never mentioned it. It's the Sun Tegrity Pressed Mineral Powder. I was kind of excited. I bought it for over the summer. Um, I was kind of getting low on my Ilia Radiant Translucent Powder SPF and I kind of felt like, oh, maybe I'll try this out and see how it works. Um, whoa, what a difference these two products are. This is much more mattifying than this. You can tell there's a lot less oils it's a lot more of a setting powder. It really absorbs any oil on your face. And um, I don't love it, to be honest. <clears throat> it has a really high SPF, SPF 50, a high zinc content, 25%. Um, but for me, I don't think I would ever purchase this again because it's just so mattifying. Um, I much prefer this, even though it has a much smaller SPF, um, probably because I'm using an SPF 50 underneath my Suntegrity Impeccable Skin. So I'm getting good sun coverage. I'm not relying on this for sun coverage, um, but for like a finishing powder, I just prefer this more because it seems like it has a lot more oils. It's much more suited for mature dry skin. I don't think it accentuates fine lines and when I get things on my face that are really matte, it just makes my face look old like immediately. And I hate that look on women where they're just, there's cakey makeup and it's powdered and it's all set and you can't see their skin and I just feel like this takes me there. Although, if you had oily prone skin or you used a super, you wanted, I can see this working for a lot of people. For dry mature skin, I wouldn't say it's the best. Okay, next up, Somebody was commenting, a friend of mine was commenting, that green flash oil cleanser would be expensive for them to use on a consistent basis. Which, I mean, I get because it's $50. I mean, it's for 2.7 ounces, but it is kind of expensive. And so what I think I'm going to do, because I don't think that my brand um, supports like the the... The way that it looks and the way that it presents, I don't think it supports expensive price tags. <laughs> it's not, you know, it's not luxury. It's more adventure, more plant-based. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna reformulate it and make it cheaper. I'm gonna just scale back some of the things that make it expensive. Like for example, I use a jojoba oil in here that has um, resins from frankincense and myrrh. So probably we don't need that in a cleansing oil. It's really expensive. If I take it out, that's already one ingredient that I can decrease. The other thing is a friend of mine gave me feedback that it dries like 
that that the finish is dry like a dry oil finish and I had to keep using it through the seasons and through like hormonal changes to kind of really see like what they were talking about and I agree now and so probably what I'm gonna do is pull the squalene out of here because the squalene is really expensive and I think it contributes to that really dry sensation after the products removed um so yeah i'm gonna be making some changes and i'll hopefully have that done at a lower price point um for the next launch i would love for it to be 30 dollars. what do you guys think would you be interested in that should i try to go lower um, there's two, you know, the two staples that I really want to hold on to are the um, the olive oil that's infused with calendula and the carrot seed oil. And I think I can do that and still maintain. Those are the, those are the things that I think really knock it out of the park. And so I think I can do that um, and maintain the integrity of the way the product feels. So let me know what you think, okay? Now, let's talk about what I purchased, okay? So, I went ahead on Beauty Heroes and I picked up the Marshmallow Cleanser from Earthwise Beauty because I really just don't want to be without that. It's very vital to my skincare routine right now and until I make a product that I think, you know, is suited to me, that's just going to be a standard, my go-to, my staple, my holy grail. Um, then I wanted a cream, but I just didn't want to spend a lot of money on one because it's, you know, the top coat. And so because I was feeling uninspired by my skincare, I wanted to go back to something I felt was plant focused and that was um, brought the joy back to skincare. And so I picked up the Mook Tea Marigold Cream. Um, from Beauty Hero. So both of those ended up being 20% off. That was fabulous. Free shipping because I spent over $75. And um, yeah, I just feel like that Marigold Mukti cream is such a great deal on top of the Marigold smell is so intoxicating to me at night. Like it's the way I want to finish my routine. It's the way I want to finish my day. It has nice oils, nice butters, nothing too crazy. It's not offering, it's not trying to sell me the moon with a price tag that's like a million dollars. It's just trying to perform like a beautiful cream and it's a huge jar of it. So um, I'm stoked on that because I feel like that is really something I was wanting. Um, I feel like those are two very solid choices. Both products I've used before, they feel like they'll work right into my routines. Um, so then next, because I was loving this hibiscus beauty booster over oils, and because somebody mentioned it in the comments last week that Boxwalla was having the Lepar, um, they had an, their October box was focused on um, Lepar. And so I've always wanted to try that brand since Boxwalla carried them the first time. And so I decided because it was three 15 ml oils, I'm like, I could have a lot of fun doing gua sha with those oils. Um, there's one that's for your neck and I'm like, oh, that'd be so perfect for my nighttime routines. One of the reasons I've always wanted to try Lepar is because I love oils that are infused with frankincense and myrrh. And this is a huge thing for them and they do it themselves. And so um, I jumped on that box and $50 for the three 15 ml oils felt like a phenomenal deal. Okay, so then what else did I decide to get? Cause I got something else. And then I decided to pick up a few living libation samples. I've realized that I'm not into clean beauty to some degree, like my heart is really focused on green beauty. Like I think my skin responds well to essential oils. I think my skin responds well to um, plant infusions and I'm just interested in brands that are sort of the legacy green beauty. So Earthwise Beauty, um, Living Libations, like I just kind of wanted to return to my senses, right? Um, and so I picked up three samples from 
Living Libations, 5 mLs of their three different creams. I wanted to try those out. And then somebody else mentioned that Neiman Marcus had the Iuna um, Essence on sale for like 50% off. So I ran over there and bought that too. So you guys influenced, you know, a $250 skincare haul around there somewhere. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. I feel like I got so many great things and I'm just over the moon about being inspired about my skincare again. I even started posting on Instagram and I'm just feeling, um, I don't know, like I just want to reconnect with my skincare loving people and yeah, just, um, focus on some of the positive things in life. So I feel like the negatives have really are out there weighing us down and I really want to focus on the positives. So Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you next week. Bye.